The wife of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Margaret Peter Obi, has called on Nigerian women to hold her responsible if her husband fails the nation should he emerge as president come 2023. She said this during a town hall meeting organized by the women wing of the Labour Party in Abuja. This is a new Nigeria where the men, the women and the children all have a role to play. Well, you know something? It will not happen if we cross our legs and sit down. Yes, sir. It will not happen if we don't reach out to our sisters, to our husbands, to our children, to our neighbors. We must reach out. We must engage them. We must mobilize. And most importantly, we women must take ownership. We must understand that without us doing what we need to do, that cannot happen. So we must rise up. Our children have been doing the rallies on the streets. We are going to do the grassroots thing. Everything that we need, they are all in our hands. We the citizens, this is the time. Once in every four years, we pray for a miracle. We pray that the miracle happens. And you know when that miracle happens? On election day. Because then we are in control. We are the ones who decide the people that we get into office. And we will vote for the right person. Margaret Obi assured women that her husband is well prepared to take Nigeria towards the path of prosperity. She however insists that Nigerian women should hold her responsible if her husband fails in government should Nigerians vote him into office in 2023. If come February 25th, Peter B is voted in as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by the special grace of God, hold me responsible for May 29 when he is sworn in. In his brief remark, the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi assured women of restoring their pride of place in the country. It must be based on character we can trust. Character we can trust. So people can stop stealing our money. It must be based on competence. It must be based on commitment. And like I said, on compassion. I am not running. I don't want you to vote because it's my call. Don't listen to their structure. I shall have talked about structure. Don't listen to the structure. It's the structure of criminality. Yes. It's the structure that will be stealing your oil. Yes. It's the structure that will be killing your children. Yes. It's the structure that will produce one well rights and three million people in poverty. Yes. This is the time to throw away that structure. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.